A Short Life by Eliza Ambrose Halwyn. I know there's no use running, but still I run. I'm running for my life. My breathing is laboured, my lungs and my legs ache. I push on, stumbling over the rough ground. With no warning, I'm suddenly stopped in my tracks by a grip like steel. I fall, inertia dragging the predator down on me. Sheer terror kicks in and I scream and struggle wildly, all reason gone. I'm flipped around as if I am nothing more than a doll. For the first time I see my attacker, small, thin, little more than a child. Its eyes are glazed as if it's blind, but its aim is unerring as it grabs my forearms. Strong tentacles wrap around my arms and I scream again as I feel muscle and blood vessels break beneath the skin. My scream is cut off as my mouth is covered by her mouth. I find myself paralysed, unable to move my head away. Her breath stinks. My fear is overwhelmed by such exquisite pain that I think I'm going to, hope to, beg to pass out. I'm on fire, burning from the inside out. It seems impossible for the brain pain to get worse, but, unbelievably, it does. There is nothing but the pain. I know this won't last much longer. There's no way I can survive this torment, but it seems unending. Blackness starts to descend. As it engulfs me, I wonder if this sign will remember me. Regretfully, I know she won't.